Hello everyone, welcome to Neetu's Home Food. Today's recipe is a very delicious and simple and easy to make vegetable biryani. So let's see what are the ingredients that we need for this recipe. I have also added a detailed description of all the measurements and ingredients needed in the description box below. Now when you are ready with all these ingredients, we can start with some preparations. Wash all the veggies well and chop them. You can make them into big or small pieces as you like but I like big pieces in my biryani. You can pick any veggies of your choice. Today I am picking broccoli, cauliflower, carrots and green peas. Then peel the garlic and ginger and make it into a coarse paste. Soak the basmati rice in water for half an hour. Then heat water in a pan and cook it. Just cook it halfway because we are going to mix it with the veggies and cook it over again. When it is half cooked, strain it and cool it down in a bowl. So these are the only preparations. When you are done, we can start cooking now. Heat a wide bottom pan and add daisy ghee clarified butter. Once when it is hot, add star anise, cinnamon, cardamom, stone flour, cloves, poppy seeds and bay leaf and give it a good mix and roast it for 30 seconds. Between roast the cashew nuts separately in the ghee and save it for later. Now add the ginger garlic that is crushed. Roast it for a few seconds, then add green chilies, sliced onion, mint leaves chopped, give it a good mix, add some salt and roast it for a few minutes, then add half of the coriander leaves, save the other half for garnishing. Then add the biryani masala powder, chilli powder and give it a good mix. Now the chopped tomatoes and then the veggies. Add all the veggies. Add the remaining salt, give it a good mix. You can adjust salt, chilli powder as per your taste. Cover it and cook for 5 minutes. Here it is after 5 minutes. Looks like it will need another 5 more minutes. Don't overcook the veggies, just cook it halfway. Now add 1 cup of yogurt. Mix it well, cover it and cook for another 5 minutes. Now the veggies look almost cooked. Give it a good mix, check for the veggies. Then add the steamed rice. Add salt to the rice, then some clarified butter, give it a good mix. Garnish it with some coriander leaves. Add in the roasted cashew nuts now. 
so cover it turn off the heat and let it sit for 30 minutes I am using a wide thick bottom pan so that the heat is spread evenly all through the rice and since it is thick bottom pan it will retain the heat for long now here it is after 30 minutes it is all done you can see the rice and the veggies are evenly cooked Here is one of my simple ways of making this awesome recipe and you can serve this with some onion or cucumber raita or even some curry. For cucumber raita just chop some cucumber, add it with some yogurt and salt and serve it. Eat healthy, take care, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for instant update. Thanks for watching.